want to talk about these three tools right here. And I'm going to talk about all three of them because they function very similarly. Uh, we have the marquee tool, lasso tool, and the wand tool. These are all the tools used to cut out specific parts of your image, such as a person, which we'll do in a later lesson. If we go ahead and look at the uh, marquee tool and select it, we can go over to our image, hold left click and drag. And then if we let go, you can see we get this box and we get these dotted lines called marching ants. And what that means is this area is now selected. If you didn't get the selection right, you can always uh, move the box around just like this. And if you wanna try again, you can deselect it by either hitting Command D or Control D. And that will deselect the area and you can go ahead and hit left click, drag it out and make another selection. Now, I know there's not much you can do with a box, but that's where our other tools get come into play. With these, you can get any shape you want. Let's select the lasso tool, for example. With this tool, you can draw free form. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw something just like this and <laughs> If you let go, you can see we get the marching ants again in the line that we drew, freeform. In terms of what we can actually do with this, what we can do is go over to the move tool. If we go over there and you'll see if we hover in this area, you'll see these scissors, this uh, scissor symbol uh, right in this area. And that's uh, a symbol for going to be cutting out our image. So what we can do is hold down left click, drag, and you can, as you can see, we are now moving only that part of the image. And uh, one really cool thing that we can do with this is if you hold down Alt, and while holding Alt, if you left click, you will actually duplicate that and let go and you can just keep doing this over and over again and just as many times as you want and that's it and if you ever make a mistake you can always press Control z or command z to undo your uh, last action and you can just keep pressing that over and over until you get back to what you originally had one pretty cool thing you can do with uh, the Control uh, Z is if you press Control Alt Z or Command Alt Z, it'll actually undo what you did last and then pressing it once more will redo what you did. And you can just keep alternating back and forth to compare uh, your actions, which can be very, very useful. I use it a lot. One thing I should point out is that if you come over to the toolbar and if you see a little arrow on the bottom right corner, if you right click on these tools, you will get more options. So with this, for example, instead of getting a rectangle, we can now get a circle. All right, another selection tool I wanna to look at is the polygonal lasso tool. And the way we get there is if we right click on our lasso tool, you can see we get more options and we're just gonna hit the polygonal lasso tool and that will equip it. And with this selection tool, similarly to the lasso tool, you can do free form, but with this, you're creating points. So if I left click right here, you can see we get this line like this. If I click again, that uh, sort of locks in place and we can start creating these points and this will slowly build up your freeform selection. And we can just, this, this is really great for slow 
really detailed selections. And let's say I, I'm just going to finish this up. Um, we can uh, complete this selection by wrapping around going back to our first point and we'll get this little circle uh, right here uh, in our pointer and that means that's going to complete the selection. If I just left click you can see we get our marching ants. And another way what we can do is another way to complete your selection is you can just double click and that will connect the last two points up and you'll get your selection. So let's say you spend all this time making a selection and then you mess up like that or something. So what I can recommend is that you just keep on doing your selection, uh, come on right around and let's just finish it right here for example. Um, so let's say I just want this little part in and I mess that up. So we can refine the selection by holding down shift while you have your uh, selection tool out. So holding down shift, you can see that I now get this little plus symbol on my lasso tool like that. And if we go ahead and draw in a little bit of selection right here, go ahead and complete it. You can see that it has now been added to the selection I originally had, but you have to make sure you're holding down shift. Now you can do this uh, vice versa by holding down alt and you can see that there's a, a minus symbol right there and we can if we draw on a selection this will actually take away from our selection so I can really just come here for example and that will uh, carve out the selection like that. Okay so let's look at this real quick the wand tool. Now if we look here, right click, our first option is the quick selection. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this, equip it, and then if we start uh, painting by left clicking, and I'm just left clicking and dragging, you can see that um, we are now selecting this reef right here, and what it's doing is it's trying to Photoshop is trying to um, find contrast with these pixels. If I just zoom up here, we have a, a really uh, pretty much complementary difference here. So we have a really hard edge here. So it is detecting that and we are getting a pretty smooth selection. And you can see these uh, marching ants going around here. And we can just go ahead and keep selecting and select whatever we want. So the other variation, if we go over here to the toolbar, right click and hit the magic wand tool, this is our other variation. And this sort of senses, uh, it, it takes all these similar pixels and will select it all for you. So if I select this blue up here, it will automatically detect sort of what I may have been looking for. And uh, it's just finding similar pixels to that. And we can uh, adjust the strength of this. So if I do control D, uh, if we go up way up here to tolerance, think of tolerance as your strength. So the higher the number, we can make it higher. And by the way, the way I, I'm doing this is I'm hovering over the word tolerance then I'm left clicking and going back and forth to adjust this number. And you can do that with pretty much any number here. That's just that's just a quick tip. But so if we have a really, really high number, let's say 255 and we left click. Now we're getting more selection than we had last time. So I'm just going to hit control D real quick. And I'm just going to show you if we let's bring it down all the way to zero. If I select here, now now we're getting a very, very small selection. And 
we can just keep adjusting it to what, what seems right. So if I just want this blue, we can do maybe a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. We can do maybe 49. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And we can adjust that accordingly.